everyone and welcome to today's video. If you haven't already, press that subscribe button below because I have some exciting content coming to the channel and I, I don't want you guys to miss it. So today I am making a North American Lodge. I did get some inspiration from a Google search of this image. I will pop it on the screen now so you guys can have a look. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I want to make something North American kind of inspired with the lodge and I wanted it to be for roleplay purposes and um, so I ended up making a lodge with a bedroom and some props and stuff like lamps, bedside tables and stuff that you'll see later on in the speed build. Um, I did use a lot of individual planks that I used on the Australian DLC and um, I absolutely love that DLC. So I, I used that with a lot of features that I was doing. Uh, the the count comes up to, the actual piece count comes up to like I think 200 piece count so it's not that bad. Um, I was actually quite shocked at how much less of a piece count I thought it was going to be way more. I thought it was going to be in like at least five to six hundred pieces so I was, I was quite happy about that. So um, I will put a link below to the workshop and um, so, so if any of you guys want to download it that you can. Um, I also make some of the furniture. Um, I might make it into um, a furniture set for uh, the workshop in case you guys, you know, don't want the lodge and they, you just want the, the stuff inside. Um, no judgement here. So. I am right now on the screen I am making some glass windows and I'm using so see if you can see I closed it up with the wooden plank and then I went over it with some other planks to make give it like some depth make it look like it has some planks instead of just a texture I used it I used the um, Arctic pieces and stuff which they've given us some really nice wooden features and stuff I used uh, those Arctic pillars against to just give it some extra depth. What I found it was like really hard to, to um, make some glass feature and stuff um, <laughs> exactly how the reference image was because obviously we don't have triangle uh, flat glass pieces which I, I really wish that was an option instead of having that white border around and stuff and um, so yeah, I try to make it all fit and make it all um, combined. So I kind of just settled for this like, triangle um, window that I'm making right now, which I used, if you type in beams in um, the search bar, you'll see that I used uh, a lot of beams and stuff like that. And I think you can get even smaller ones as well but this worked out okay. I did play around with this a lot because I, I wanted it to look kind of how, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing to my eye. And I finally found the pattern that I liked, which I'm uh, doing now on the screen. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I did, uh, what, what else am I gonna tell you? Yeah, I am, um, you know with me, if you watch my speed builds and stuff, I kind of cut out little bits and bobs and stuff. Please, in, in the comments below, if you do actually watch this uh, the speed builds to the very end and stuff, let me know if you actually want a real-time kind of build, spill, like speed it up, uh, where I'm not cutting out unimportant bits and stuff. I try my best to get everything in, into uh, placement, but see, I'm a really slow builder. Uh, I know many, many of my friends and many uh, content creator friends that I have that we talk about like the speed of uh, how someone is and when they build and stuff and I know some people vary in how quick they build. I know some people have really fast times and you have people like me that are really slow. So for me to do like a complete speed build for you, it's honestly a lot of me looking at something <laughs> for a couple of minutes, eyeing it up, rotating my camera, 
coming back in and actually adding stuff and then going, oh, I don't like it. And then I'll take it away and then move it back again. So, you know, I can do that if you guys really want to see that. But like, I, you know, I need to, I need to know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing right now because I want, I want to, to know what you guys think. Um, because I'm, I'm obviously doing it for your enjoyment. Um, I obviously do enjoy making these videos for you, but I also want to make sure that you're enjoying these videos. So yeah, please give me some feedback in the description below. It's much appreciated. So I found making the roof, um, like the beams and stuff and the pillars kind of, uh, finicky. Um, I would call it when the high you went up because of the A-frame. So I was, I was like, it's not working. So, so I'm just, I'm just fiddling around and making sure it doesn't poke out the sides and stuff. I'm trying to be a cleaner builder and make sure that it looks perfect as much as I can. Um, I think that comes with a lot of practice as a builder because before I wouldn't care about things poking out and I wouldn't care about those sort of things but obviously I want to <laughs> progress to be uh, I don't know a builder that can share share the stuff on the workshop and people be like wow this is amazing and um, I enjoy it so um, over here I did some interesting kind of using the triangles this an interesting close-up of a sliding door and stuff so um, I was going with it I was gonna do actually like a when you walked out onto um, the patio that I sort of make outside here I was gonna make a hot tub and stuff like that and then I started worrying about the piece count for everyone so I might in future progress I'll, I'll, I'll make one and you know I'll make it so that it might no do you know what I will make it so that it fits with this building as well as the building I will be doing in the future so that if you if you feel like you wanted to put a hot tub on that patio and stuff you can <laughs> so yeah it'll be, it'll be on my to-do list and stuff so you let me know if you want that and I will definitely do that but yeah so I'm just doing all the trims and stuff so this build wasn't like a massively like a habitat or it wasn't anything like the bubble tea cafe that I did like I did it's kind of smaller but I don't know I kind of I I added a lot of detail to it you know and um when you when you work with like odd shapes and stuff it just it ends up giving you little bits and bobs of trouble and stuff and then um sea fighting when the textures start flicking and stuff like that if that's what you call it um <laughs> yeah I had a lot of that and stuff and the the axes and stuff being a pain so it yeah ultimately it was like meh but it was um I kind of like how it turned out anyway and like um I made an I made a logo for it as well it's called the little lodge and I don't know if you saw it in the cinematics but anyway I will be putting that in the google documents on the workshop so if you guys want to download the, the cute little sign or make your own you know you can make your own but like if you don't want to then I've added that and then I've added a number placement at the start you can't see it right now because we're obviously mid build and I added that off camera because it was just like little extra details that I added and um, yeah you can number them so if you ever wanted like a set of like lodges and stuff like that um, which that's kind of where I was going with it I was gonna make one and then I was gonna like number them and like obviously you can change the numbers and you can have like a bunch of lodge lodges and stuff for your guests it's it's just like a I like things like this because it's like a path like kind of space filler because like there's a lot of once you have your park and you have your restaurants and you have like guest services and stuff and bathrooms and stuff you kind of run out of things and ideas and stuff to close up the space and instead of just putting 
bunch of like foliage, which I, I love and I do a lot, but you know, it's a nice space filler. And I thought it's like nice to give it like a realistic touch, like a lot of wildlife reserves and stuff and the Disney Disneyland um, Animal Kingdom and stuff, they have their own, um, not bed and breakfast, but their own hotels and I suppose they do have bed and breakfasts, but I call it bed and breakfast because it's so small. There's obviously, there's no kitchen, self-serve kitchen in there, but um, that's where that's where I went with it. I used these sacks, these Indian sacks as pillows because I, I thought, I could have I could have easily just used like a square or I could have used like a round uh, pillow or something but I just thought that <laughs> that the sacks just looked kind of like a pillow shaped so it was um yeah it's a good I good idea not to in my own horn in, in anything but I was like oh yeah the, definitely this is a good thing to do what I'm doing right now if you can see my camera <laughs> scooting is I'm trying to um get Z the Z fighting to stop and stop the glitching and I can't stand when it does that I wish it didn't do that but that's what I'm doing right now I'm struggling with it so that you you guys don't have this like lodge with like loads of like glitches and stuff <laughs> but yeah if you didn't know this trick if you usually it works it wasn't working recently but I think I got it to work there no I think I gave up I, but I, eventually I got it to work but um, if you keep fiddling it with the the texture or that object that you're using, if you keep moving it right to left and left to right um, and just wiggle it a bit, it actually does um, stop the glitching. So it's an actual cool trick. I only found that out recently, actually. I always used to think, why does that always happen to me? And then you see some other pe amazing people that build and they never, their, their stuff is like completely perfect with none of that Z fighting and I was just like, huh? <laughs> but I'm glad I worked this out. I'm, I'm glad it's a chip. Um, I'm making the headboard right now and uh, this colour that I used for the bed is duck egg. The colour is called duck egg and I thought it's a um, it's, I love this colour and um, I brought it inside and the end bit was so annoying and it wasn't going to work so then we've got a nice kind of um, triangle space so it kind of it looks natural it looks like it would be like that if it was, it was like a pattern wooden headboard I'm using a type of uh, rug and placement over here to make it look like yeah, look like they have a rug and right now like furniture is hard to like get right in uh, Planet Zoo and stuff because we don't have that much props that you do in like Planet Coaster and stuff like that so um, as I'm told I only played a little bit of Planet Coaster and stuff but I know they've got a lot of like theme stuff and stuff that you can make better items with so I was just like okay let's see what we can do and I ended up Oh yeah, I ended up putting the slats below the, the mattress to give it more of a realistic um, vibe instead of just like the mattress because in real life you would have slats or otherwise your mattress would be on the floor <laughs> when someone gets into bed. So now I'm using uh, this little basket. I love this basket for like a, a plant pot. I definitely use this a lot for um, a nice plant pot. So if you guys are thinking about making house plants or anything, I really do suggest the basket. Um, and also the other pots, but I do like the wicker basket. And just nice aesthetic. Oh, we're swinging around everywhere. I was just uh, using some wood and seeing if... I'm, I'm basically experimenting right now to see what looks great and what, what doesn't and then um, I start making the bedside tables by stealing a leg from <laughs> from the bed and uh, yeah just kept it simple you know so yeah Ooh, chest of drawers I thought it was the bedside tables it was the chest of drawers yeah I didn't make a, a massive uh, wardrobe or anything I just made like a tiny chest of drawers and stuff because 
people who were staying in these uh, in these lodges, they weren't staying for more than like two nights because obviously it was going to be so expensive, <laughs> especially especially if um, say this lodge was looking on onto like safari animals or like free roaming animals and stuff. You're you're looking at like eight hundred dollars a night or something like that. So yeah, not not a big wardrobe for a long stay. You know, unless you have that kind of money, but yeah. Uh, I use these as like little, I don't know, clothes, towels. It's uh, And then I wanted to put the other ones on and I was like, nah, that doesn't look right. This one looks fine. So I'll leave it there. And uh, sorry about the weather as well. I've just noticed that I actually haven't, um, it's actually raining. <laughs> Um, I, I tend to have like, usually I do tend to have that, that atmosphere kind of cloudy and stuff. Um, I don't know why, just tend to, but like I know that I imported this into another zoo and placed it down to show you guys what it could look like in a zoo. Um, and uh, it was sunny there, so you know. I hope I'm forgiven. <laughs> so yeah, this these are the bedside tables now, and um, yeah, I was uh, <clears throat> I was gonna make a lamp and stuff, and then I found this, and I was like, this works! Oh my gosh, yes! It, it actually works as a light as well. So if you guys are looking for lamps and stuff, this this works. This this does the trick. So I turned it into the beautiful duck egg. And placed it on each side so it looks like they have a nice like lamp and I was gonna duplicate that and I was like no let's not overdo it now and then I added some little stuff little bulbs there's little doorknobs so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I will catch you in the next one bye for now